Number 50. The ear canal resonates like a tube closed at one end. If ear canals range in length from 1.8 to 2.6 centimeters in an average population, what is the range of fundamental resonant frequencies? Uh, take air temperature to be 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, so basically they want us to find, it, it says, find the range in fundamental resonant frequencies. All right, so we know that to find the range, a range is basically, right, the larger value minus the smaller value. So I can basically say that um, it'll be the frequency, and this is where a little foresight comes into play, but eh, don't, I, I mean, you can honestly, you know what, actually, just do this. Just take the absolute value of the difference, quite honestly. If you just got to find the range, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. Just take the absolute value. That's actually easier. So here, the frequency of, let's say, one case minus the frequency of the other case, okay? Now, also, by the way, check out number 42. I went through a general discussion of these, the principles in this section. All right, so we know that the tube is closed at one end, and that means we're going to be using the 4L formula over here, okay? So I'm going to, um, I'm going to write this out. So this will be the absolute value of then the first, you know, frequency. It doesn't mean the first harmonic necessarily. I'm just, I'm just talking about the, you know what, let me do this instead of one and two. Let me do the frequency of the uh, shorter length, so I'll put F sub S, uh, minus the frequency of the longer length, okay? So the frequency of the shorter length here, we can expand that to then be the nth harmonic, right? But, so let me just write it out. Nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of the sound divided by four times the length of the tube, right? And this is for the shorter length. Then minus N multiplied by the velocity of the sound divided by four times the length of the tube when it's longer, okay? Now notice we have common factors, right? The n is gonna be in common, the velocities are in common, and the four is in common. So we can basically pull those out if we wanted to simplify this. So this would simply be n times vw all over four multiplied now by one over the length of the shorter tube minus one over the length of the longer tube, okay? So now all I gotta do is really just plug everything in, right, that's all. So let me just move this up a little bit, okay? Give myself a little more space. And let's plug it in. So it says the fundamental resonant frequency, so that N is one, right? So we know we'll plug in one for N. The speed of sound, they told us the temperature is 37. Ah, oh, we gotta do a conversion, right? So we have that formula that is going to basically be now 331 multiplied by the square root of the Kelvin temperature divided by 273, right? So the Kelvin temperature, they told me Celsius, so I just gotta do that conversion. 273 plus 37, 37 all over 273. And I'm just substituting the formula on in. Or we've seen this many times too, so this should be all right. Divided by four. Then now, that's all going to be multiplied now by one over the uh, shorter length. So what was the shorter length? Uh, 1.8 right? Centimeters, but you know we need that in meters, so just move the decimal two places to the left, so that's 0 0.018, right? And then minus 1 over 0 0.026, and then just do the math, and let's see what we get. So let's do 331 times n square root parenthesis of 273 plus 37, close those parentheses, then divide it by 273, and then take that whole thing and divide it by four. So I get a value about 88 there. All right, now that 88, this thing works out to be about 88, that I'm now going to multiply by the difference between those two fractions. So take that, multiply it by now, one divided by 0 0.018, uh, minus one divided by 0 0.026, and I get about uh, 1,500 or so, right? So we get a value of about one point five one times ten to the third and that will be in terms of the difference in frequency and fundamental frequency and that is then in hertz right so frequency is always in hertz or cycles per second okay so we got that and i'm just making sure everything yeah everything looks great all right so now um you know if the answer came out to be negative in here that's why i had the absolute value so you just take the magnitude, not the sign. You just take the value, okay? And that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Take care.